morning guys hiya right so this is going to be something a little bit different ian's away on a stag do this weekend so it's down to me to do the shopping so what i'm going to do it's eight o'clock saturday morning i'm going to go to Lidl's first and then we're going to nip off into town um i'm going to try and record a little bit just for you just to see what you can see what it is that i normally do on the weekend um I'm not sure how much filming I'm going to do because I'm a little bit shy when it comes to stuff like that. But we'll come along and I'll give you little bits and pieces about my Saturday. And so like I say, got my shopping list all ready. So it's time to head off. Right guys, we're now at Lidl's. Um, I'll show you. Just turn you around a little bit. There we go. Just outside the Lidl's now. Going to get the shopping in and then off into town. Ian's favourite part of Lidl's. Well, I said I needed a new one. And I have Ian's card. Oh, why not? Right, well. That's Lidl's done, so I'm going to put this in the car and then we'll get off into town. So, what a miserable day, absolutely miserable, but we'll make the most of it anyway. Right guys, so I don't drive into town, um, one because I don't like driving in town and two because the parking is excruciatingly expensive. Um, I do have a bus pass with Ian being a bus driver so what I've done is I've come to Baker parked up Morrison's car park and I'm just going to go across the road and get the bus into town probably about five minutes and that's it Right, we're now in Eldon Square just being into Boots just going to go down have a look around Phoenix I think and then we'll go on to Northumberland Street Right, so had a little look around Phoenix. wasn't much in there to be perfectly honest I think they're getting ready for the Christmas bits so I'm just coming out of Eldon Square now I'm going to go on to Northumberland Street um, and just play by yeah see how we go I want to go into M&S because I want to check out the food side of it see if they've got anything nice in that I haven't seen for a while and we'll see you when we get there there's Primark I don't think I'll be going in there because every time I do I end up spending a fortune and always buy jammies. I've got Marks and Spencers which I'm going to come to in a bit. Nice busker there. Sainsbury's. Uh, just a little bit of Northumberland Street for you guys. So we're just going to go back down Eldon Square this way. Had a little look around down the top. Um, going to go in m and I think and have a little look at the food hall. So I don't know whether you want to have a look, but I'll show you anyway. Right, so, in the M&S, just having a little look at the cheese. Smells lovely, but then again, I am a cheese nut. Just got a couple of bits and pieces. I've got some orzo pasta. Don't think I can't get it down that much. And I've also got some of this. Some venison mince. Oh! I'm going to duct here, so it'll go in the freezer if I don't use it. Sorry guys, couldn't pull a much in uh, M&S, there was music playing. So I'm just off now to the last stop in town, which is the Granger Market. I thought I'd get a little picture of that. It was Grey's, Grey's Monument. So just off to the Granger Market now, have a little look around. See what's up, what they've got on offer. I like to go to the fish markets while I'm there. So we'll have a look and see what they've got. Right, so we're just about to go into the Granger Market. <coughs> it's really old building this. Absolutely gorgeous though. Anything you want you can virtually get in here. So have a little bit of a walk about. I might get myself some prawns or something for me to nest things that Ian's not here. Treat yourself. Um, we'll have a little look when we get there. That's the famous Weimar warehouse where the hairy bikers came. 
don't know if any of you have seen that, but we came here to get weighed when we were doing our weight loss. Oh, pigeon. Right, you can get dumplings, dumplings and buns, all sorts in here, guys. Right, so we're just coming to the fish side of it now. in the Grange market now I'm just getting some cod cheeks and some prawns so it's time to go back get the bus and pick the car up from Marathons. Right so that's me back in the car now um, so we're just gonna go home make a coffee and then we'll go through the stuff that we've bought. Right so we'll see you in a bit guys. Hi guys right so I've come back a little bit later than I was going to but I've had an absolutely cracking day today um we've had our time in town you've seen all of well as, as much as i could there was a lot of music going on so i've decided i'm going to leave the cod cheeks and i'm going to do something with that on monday but i have the prawns here anybody that knows me knows that these things just absolutely are me down to a t so what the first thing i'm going to do is is i'm just going to Peel some garlic. This is not a recipe. This is just the way I like to have them. I think that needs sharpening. Like I say, this is just the way I like to have them. He'll be very jealous because he loves prawns as well. But I had a message off him earlier. And apparently he's a little bit hungover from yesterday. So I don't know how much he'll be eating, eh, sorry, he'll be drinking today. Yeah, so after we got home, I had a coffee, had a bit of a, it's fallen asleep. And then my youngest son came with his partner and my grandson. So I had them here for a while and then literally just chilled out all afternoon. So here are the prawns that I bought. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take the heads off, put them to one side for now. I have got a fish plate and I know I'm going to get um, comments, I should have had that one out, but hey, this is just for me. Take all the heads off. Beautiful prawns. And the last time I went up and I got the cod cheeks, they were absolutely amazing. I don't quite know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I will have a look and see what I can. So I'm just going to take these heads off. Like I say, you don't want to see me hands. Anybody that doesn't like seafood, then I do apologise. But it's my idea of absolute heaven. I'm leaving the the shells on the tails. I think that's half the the fun of having raw prawns. Just to peel them off. Normally I would leave the heads on as well, but I am going to make a little bit of a sauce with this. Maybe it's not that one. It's a bit squished. Yeah, quite a few prawns in here, mind. But I'm not complaining about that in the slightest. Right, so I'm just going to wash up a little bit. I've got some hot salty water in the sink. I knew it was going to be a bit of a messy one. And I'm going to be using some ghee today. One, because I've got it. And two, because it goes to a nice high smoking point. And I'm going to use my new frying pan. So I'll tell you what, what I'll do is, is I'll bring it over and we'll get over to the stove. Right, so I'm using my new frying pan. I have washed it. Give it a nice clean out. And it's lovely. So I've got, like I say, I've got some ghee 
here. I've had the pan warming up a little bit. So with ghee, you do have the lovely buttery flavour because it's clarified butter, which means that it's got a high smoke point. And into that, slice this garlic. So we'll put that into there. Smush that around. The only thing with this cooker, it must be on a bit of a slant because every time you put something, put anything on, everything seems to come this way. You can see there's no. Oh, I love the smell of garlic like that. Mm. Like I say, it's not a recipe. This, this is just how I like to to eat them. Smell of that, and then I'm gonna go in with my prawns. Turn that down just a tad. And what I'll do, and to be honest, I will sit, watch TV, glass of wine, and just pick at these all night to sit. Take the shells off. It's already starting to turn it off. There's no taste testing time on this one. This is just purely for me. It's just to finish off this video for today. I know a lot of people out there don't like seafood. It could be even worse with corns. Now, I've been to that same place so many times to get my fish, and it is the best. It's Churton Fisheries, by the way, if anybody wants to know. It's called Churton Fisheries, and they absolutely cracking. Beautiful. Right, so I'm just going to let them go. I'll turn it down a little bit more and let them go for another couple of minutes. They don't take long at all. Little bit longer because they've got the shell on, um, but they're still probably five minutes tops. That's about as much as that will take. Right, so we'll come back to you in a little bit. Right, so I've taken them out the pan and I've got all of this loveliness here, and now I'm going to put all of the heads in. Yep, yeah, I know you all probably think that it's gross. But this is me. This is what I like. And to be honest, I mean, I think it was six pounds something for these prawns. So I'm going to get my, my money's worth out of them. All of the taste I can possibly get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a spoon. I want all of the flavour out of them heads. Normally I'm the person that sits there and sucks all of the heads out. But this time I'm going to make a nice sauce. I'm going to get that just a little bit fried off. I've got some fish stock. Leave that butter in there. Right, I've got about 200ml. Like I say, it's not a recipe. This is just what I like. And I'm going to let these go probably about 5 10 minutes. I want all of the flavour out of their heads. Try and get some mucky remarks out of that. Right, I'm going to stop using that because this is my new pan. It's a bit bigger than what I expected. I, I picked it up, we've seen it last week actually, when we were out shopping. And then during the week when we had that little bit of um, 
when we did the broccoli and spinach cake and everything stuck I thought all oh, right you know what I'm gonna get it so I'm just gonna let this go for about five ten minutes guys and then we'll come back to you right so they've been going for a little while now so that's my sauce all done I'm just gonna take these out Squish them down and getting as much of the flavour out of them as I possibly could. I'll just put that on one side for now. And the next thing I'm going to do is just put a squeeze of lemon in there. Just to freshen it up because it'll be very rich that. Just going to have a little bit of a taste. That's half a lemon. We'll have a little bit of a taste on that. Mm. Turn it down just a little bit. Doesn't need any salt. A little bit of pepper. Turn that off. I'm going to turn you around a little bit, guys. There's the oh, drop the spatula in there. Mm. Right, I'm going to pour that sauce over there. Like I say, I'm going to spare you me eating them, but that is my idea of absolute heaven. If I'd thought about it, I could have gotten some crusty bread to dip into that sauce, but I'll be dipping all of these prawns in there. So for the rest of the night, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit in the sofa, I'm gonna watch some lovely TV, I'm gonna eat this, couple of glasses of wine, and just chill. And just wanna let you know, thank you very much for being with us today. If you've enjoyed this, let us know if you, Want to do a little bit more out and about, then we can do that. If you thought it was a load of rubbish, also tell us, okay? But just be kind. Right, so I'm off to sit on the sofa for the rest of the night. See you later, guys.